Hey Aries, this is Nayla Latrice. I am here to do your reads for February. So I want to jump right in. If you are new and you are tuning in for the first time, welcome, welcome. If you have not done so already, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And uh, you can also follow me on Clubhouse at Nayla, N-A-L-A, Latrice. L-A-T-R-I-C-E, as well as my Instagram, Nayla underscore Latrice. And I am also available for readings and for coaching. All of that information can be found down below in the description box. Let's jump right in. I'm not going to take these, but I will read these. Aries. So we have the King of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. What I'm picking up immediately just with these two cards are you are very, very focused on your money, but I feel like the money that you are getting in, you're hoarding it. Um, Spirit says that the reason that money flows to you is, or that you attract money is to also send it back out. So the money that you're getting in, do not hoard this money. You need to be able to uh, release it back out into the universe. That way you are able to receive um, a more abundance versus just hoarding onto it. When you are hoarding onto anything, when you cannot detach or let go from it, then you are keeping your manifestations from flowing to you in the way that they should. And this is part of uh, having a lack mindset. So Aries, make sure you do not have a lack mindset and anything that you are receiving during this time that you are also not afraid to spend and that you release it back out into the universe even if it's bills the car note that you have to pay for the people complain about paying for is something that they desire to have you desire to have a car right okay so since you desire to have a car and whether it's the car you want or not be thankful and grateful for that vehicle or that light bill, or that water bill, because it is keeping your needs taken care of for you. So do not complain or try not to pay the bills um, when you see that you have to put back out into the universe, okay? So I'm going to do a three-card spread for you guys. So we have nine of pentacles that has popped out. Spirit, what messages do we have for Aries? What messages do we have for Aries? How are you all? I hope you all are doing very, very well, Aries. I am going to be switching some things up on the channel. I am just trying to, um, or not trying, I am in the process of getting everything together. That's why it's a little bit of a different uh, setup. But I want to be able to talk to you guys more, connect with you guys more, and I have to have a setup that is more convenient for me to um, be able to do reads more often. Spirit, one more message for Aries. One more message for Aries, please, Spirit. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we have this four of wands that is here. So what I am picking up for you all, Aries, is that right now, again, you are focused on your money. You're feeling good. You're single right now. This is for many people who are single that I am speaking to. You are focused on you. You're focused on your money, like I said before, but make sure you're not hoarding it. I feel like everything that is happening for you right now is divinely guided and divinely led. Um, you may be having different spirit animals around you as well, communicating with you, guiding you, helping you. So pay attention to um, any animals that may come around your garden or that you may see while you're driving or um, anywhere that you may see any type of animal, bird specifically, um, but any type of animal that you are connecting with. Um, white dove is what keeps coming to me. I know what I'm looking at in the uh, on the card is not a white dove. It's some other type of bird, but that is what... What is coming to me as well so um, I'm hearing maybe some of you guys released white doves at uh, a wedding ceremony for yourself or for other people. Um, I know I just said this was for singles, but even if you are in a committed relationship, this just lets me know that you are feeling uh, very independent within yourself, within who you are. You're feeling very solid within your power. I also feel that right now you are abundant or whatever you are doing will be leading to a lot of abundance. We also have this queen of wands that is here for you. 
Um, I feel like all power is in your hands is what I heard. We see that she is holding this stick up here, but she also has everything, um, all this enlightenment, all of her manifestations right here in her hand. So whatever it is that she puts out into the universe um, will be coming back to her, okay? As above, so below. You have the power in your hands. So whatever it is you are creating right now, I feel like you're working on some type of project. This could be for entrepreneurs. But whatever it is that you are working on creatively, I do feel like you have all the power. People are coming to you. People are looking for you. Um, you got the juice. Whatever it is you're selling, whatever it is that you're knowledgeable about, people want to come to you. They don't want to go to, to anybody else that's selling this product or that has this gift. They want to come to you because you are shining. You outdo everybody else. You're great at whatever it is you do. I feel like if you say this is what you want, you get it, you receive it just like that is what I feel. Mm-hmm. I feel like some of you guys are most likely spiritual workers as well. I feel like many of you have been lighting candles, doing your rituals, especially since we just had this full moon in Leo on this wolf moon. So I hope you guys uh, were still in, in that. Um, so uh, releasing and um, doing your spiritual baths and uh, whatever else it is that you do during your full moon ritual. We have this four of wands. Whatever it is you are working on will be leading to lots and lots of success for you. I feel like you guys are in a, a celebratory mode. Some of you guys also may be musicians. I feel like you are working towards your stability at this point in your life and everything that you do right now is from a place of passion. If it's not from a place of passion, especially with this Queen of Wands here and this Four of Wands, if it is not from a place of passion, even if it is earning you money, you're going down the wrong path, Spirit says. It's not about the money. It's about what you are... Um, what you are divinely guided to do. Yes, you have to have your coins. You have to have your money to be able to go out um, and have fun and enjoy life. But the real true fulfillment, that comes from doing something that you absolutely are passionate about, okay? I also have, again, this is very, very general. I'm taking this from the bottom and also this right here. There is somebody watching you and paying attention to you. This, there's somebody from your past that is thinking about you. They're having a lot of memories about you. You're, you're separated from this person because they're thinking about you and they're watching you. I feel like they have, they're thinking of some type of idea of how to get back in contact with you or how to be back in your presence. Because right now, whatever happened, um, I feel like you could be upset with this person or you're just not talking to them. Again, um, with the animals, I feel here's birds again in this picture, or picture in this card. And then here's birds again, um, uh, not birds, but um, here's dogs. I've been feeling the energy of dogs lately as well, just dreaming about them. And I feel like I need a dog, um, but... I have four teenage boys right now, and um, I don't think adding a pet <laughs> a dog is the best thing, but um, it has been in my spirit, so um, if it's meant, it will continue to show itself proof, but I said all of that to say, um, again, maybe some of you guys have spirit animals that you guys are connecting with, but somebody is thinking of you. I feel like somebody gave you a dog or wants to give you a dog or a puppy. Mm-hmm. Something that, that you may have been asking about and somebody may want to surprise you with this. But somebody, and I feel like that's kind of could be what somebody is researching too. Um, how what type of dog is the best dog to get you if they don't know? Um, or they're, they're somebody is just trying to find out more information about you, but it's it's all in a good way because they're trying to get back in your presence. Now, if you want this person back in your presence or not, that's all on you. I'm just letting you know what the cards say and what is here for you okay i am going to leave your read there aries i will be getting into doing different reads um for you guys again um, i'm gonna actually pull i was supposed to close out with an animal oracle talking about animals 
Um, but um, I will be doing many different types of reads. I wanted to make sure I got a read out for you guys because I did not get anything out to you guys last week. So this is something more um, quick for you guys. But let's see what messages Spirit has. Spirit, what messages do you have? Okay. So, I'm going to take, uh, this is way too many spirit. I am feeling in my heart that I'm supposed to take these two. So, I'm going to take these two. The first is Condor. You're too enmeshed in this situation. So, step back and see the bigger picture before making any decisions or taking action. So, there's some situation that you can't, it's almost like you can't see the forest for the trees. You're so deep within, um, you're analyzing and analyzing it too much. And if you just stop analyzing and take a step back, then you will see the bigger picture. And then you will know exactly how to move forward. It could be on this project or it could be with this person that is thinking about you. Emu, this is a good time to go on a new adventure. What I feel is you just need to take a break overall. Just take a break from your work, from your family life, from everything everything that you have been doing and just do something different. Do something that you have yet to do. I just saw 1111 on the clock. So that lets me know that um, there are new beginnings that are here for you. Okay. And it's time for you to do something new. Uh, I am going to leave your read there, Aries. Again, you can follow me on Clubhouse at Nayla Latrice. You can follow me on Instagram at Nayla underscore Latrice. And if you are interested in a personal read or coaching, you can find all of that information down below in the description box. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye Aries.